stuff. You don't know this stuff. Okay, I'm going to talk generalities here. I'm going to talk some generalities, okay? Um, things that you have to know, okay, that uh, that obviously we don't know is a, is, a, is a defense right now, okay? We are in base, okay? Or just, let's just talk formationally. What forms a slot set? Okay, let's talk personnel first, okay? 21 and 12. Those two defenses, those two offensive personnel, those two offensive personnel, you can have a pro set and a slot set, okay? So let's just talk about what we what you need to do is a defensive football player in this system when you're playing what do we call against base? That's our base stuff. That's what we have. That's what we call Pittsburgh. We call Tampa. We the, those defenses are we consider base defenses. We have three linebackers in the game. We have four DBs and we have four down linemen. Okay. When an offense breaks the huddle, okay. First of all, you're going to get our. We're going to make our, our huddle calls, okay? And first thing that has to happen is we are always going to identify either a solid side or a strong side or a flex side, something like that. Something's going to set our front, set the call, okay? If we, have a, if we say we're going to set a solid side, what does that mean? Uh, to the Y. How do we do that? How is that possible? Whose who's responsibility is it to set a solid side? Mike, Mike, Mike Linebacker. So what what makes up, Zaire, what makes a solid side? Possibly. The down Y. What do you have to do to be able to set the solid side? What do you have to identify in the defense? Yes. Correct. So you need to know where the two two wide receivers are because in any of these per both these personnel, there's only two wide receivers on the field. Okay, so when you when we're setting the solid side, you have to identify the wide receivers. Why? What is that telling you? Pro or slot? Is it pro or slot? So should it ever happen? Do you set the solid side? Does it really matter whether there's a fullback in the game in a formation like that, or whether there's another, you put the fullback or a U tight end there, like it is in 12. Does it really make a difference to us? Why not, Roach? We're still going to determine if it's a proper slot. We're still going to have wide receivers. Right, so if you will see that the wide receivers are opposite each other, we know it's a what? What kind of set? Doesn't make a shit where this last guy is. As long as these two are opposite each other, it's always going to be a pro set. You're always going to make the solid side to the field and or if it's in the middle of the field, which way? Left. Okay? So if you, regardless of where the tight end is, if uh, of what happens, if it's set like that, Where's always the stroke? Where's always the solid, solid side going to go? Okay, so I understand this. How many times have we had it where so where they've come out and which we call a slot trips, and we've made the call this way? Should that ever happen? It should never happen because as soon as you see these two wide receivers together in 21 or 12, the solid side is always going to go this way. It should always, 100% of the time, for no other reason, should always go left. Okay? So, now let's talk about, so that's solid side. That's going to the Y. Or, it's going opposite, always, what? Slot going to the Y. Okay, so in a pro set to the Y. Obviously slot equals opposite to slot. Okay? So is it possible to do that without identifying where the two wide receivers are? 
think about how many times we screwed that up during during uh, during spring ball. And why does that happen? Because we're not looking around tonight. We're not identifying where the wide receivers are first. That's the first thing that my linebacker has to do. That's the first thing that a DB has to do. Whether you're every linebacker, every DB, the D line for that matter, you don't even need. I mean, if you see both wide receivers together, you know that you don't even have to wait for a call. You know that the solid side call is going to go away from those away from those two wide receivers. What if it is a a zone dog? General generalities once again. What if it's a strong set? What does that mean? It's going where? To where? To the speed side. What what designates that? Is that much? Is that different than a solid side? Why? Right. So you still you have to identify where who is, where the two wide receivers are, right? So if the two wide receivers together, Jonathan Rose, where would the strong side be? What if that's a fullback and that's a wide receiver? Which way would you make that strength call? Why? Because what? There you go, because that's the strong, that's two speed and they're open, okay? What if it's, uh, that doesn't happen very often in college football? What if it's together, what if it's like that? What if it's a pro set? Huh? Why? Because they're the most dangerous, right? What if it's like this? To the field or where? Okay, so now let's talk about, so that's, e that's pretty easy, right guys? It's pretty easy. So we talked about a solid side. We we talked about a strong side. What about flex? Away from the Y. So all you have to do is figure out where you would make the solid call, right? And flip it. Okay? So once again, where's the flex side? Now where's the flex side? Now where's the flex side? Right to the boundary. Right to the boundary or where? What was the middle of the field? Where would you make it? To the right instead of left, right? So that's pretty easy once again, correct? That's identification of 90% of what we do in base personnel. Think about the amount of times we screw that up. Okay, so let's say, so now the calls are made because a Mike linebacker is responsible for any of those calls. He has to make any of those calls. So all you gotta do is really listen to what he's doing. What he, okay, what he's saying, and then you can line off, line up off of what he says. Okay, so it's strong, solid, and flex. Okay, we'll get into some of the other things here in a minute. Okay, now, but just put, there's always going to be a center and two guards, right? Everybody understand that. Once that call is made, okay, if, I, if I'm a, the D line has, just has to hear the solid call, the strong call, or the flex call, right? Vincent Valentine, if, we, if it's a, uh, if the call is a East Coast defense, what is that setting? Sets so what? Three. So are you wait. Are you waiting for a strong call, a flex call, or a solid call? Solid call. Okay. So you're setting the three technique there. Okay. Why? Because it's a. Because that it's is that an over defense or is that an under defense? So it's an over defense. What if it is a strong or a flex call, oh, Greg McMullen. What is that setting? Is that setting is an end? Is that setting the bubble side end? Is that setting the bubble or is that setting the three technique? And then just so you guys understand, in a defense, when the nose is there, okay, when I see when, I, when the, the shade side or the two eye side, 
That's what I refer to as the bubble. Okay? That's the three technique side. Okay? So when I say does it set the bubble, that means uh, does it set the nose side. Okay? So when I say strong or flex, what is that saying? What do I want set there? When he says strong right or flex right or strong left or flex left, is that set in the shade? The shade five side or is that shade that's set the three technique side? Shade side, 100% of the time, okay? So the only time, so solid calls are gonna happen in our base defenses. West Coast or East Coast, we're gonna set the three technique side. In West Coast, that's under, so we're setting the bubble side. So knowing that, Buck linebacker, Thomas Brown, when we set, when we set uh, the bubble side, are you, are you traveling to the bubble side or are you traveling to the three technique side? So where does the three technique travel, David Santos? Huh? The will the will linebacker, does he travel with the three or the or the or the uh, the bubble? The three. Okay, so is a base roll. All the time, our buck will always be on the shade side. Our mic's in the middle. Somewhere in the A gap or B gap, depending whether it's under or over, and our will linebacker will always be traveling to the three technique side, all the time, 100% of the time. Okay, so that's base. So whether that tight ends, so if the tight ends there, then we call in over defense, meaning an East Coast defense, Pittsburgh, Camden, Tampa. Uh, you know, uh, Jersey, anything like that. That is our base, basic look, basic alignment. It's always going to be a will to the three technique side, Mike in the middle, Buck on the other side. If we are West Coast, meaning Frisco, uh, could call Vegas, anything under, all we'd have to do is take this tight end and go this way and make a solid right call and it's still the buck to this this side the mic in the b gap now the will still on the three technique side that's a hundred percent guys in our defense okay so but really all you need to know to get lined up and just basically get lined up is without putting any wide receivers in there okay if i did want to put a guy like that and a guy like that if we say here, you hear a East Coast defense and we say solid left, that ought to be the first thing that you would be lined up in without identifying anything else. Correct? And if it was under and the tight end was on this side, it'd be the other way. The buck would be on the ball, the mic would be in the B, and the roll would be right there. Okay? Everybody understand that so far? And he could. So there should be really no reason to not be able to get lined up. If you understand what's, what a solid, which defense constitute a solid call, which ones have a flex call, a strong call, we make those calls for you. Then you just got to listen to what the mic says. The mic has to be on point. It has to know what, what call to make. But as long as the mic makes a call and we all line up accordingly, according to what the mic linebacker says, then won't be able to adjust to anything somebody does to us, even if he makes the wrong call. But it, the worst thing that can happen is that we line up on our own. Because when we line up on our own, and we're not all on the same page, it doesn't work. Our rules will not work. Now, it's going to fall on our Mike linebackers to make those correct calls, and then we'll get them to that point. But if we just all listen to them and trust what they're telling us, 99% of the time we'll be right and we won't have many issues, okay? Once we hear that solid call, the flex call, uh, the strong call, once we hear those, what is it? What is our base alignment rules if I'm, if I'm a corner? Jonathan Rose. I'm talking about just a sh basic zone defense. Who you, where are you going to align? You're going to line up on number one to your side, right? So if it was a pro set, 
There you go. There's a right corner or left corner. There's a right corner. Where, if I didn't tell you anything, what, what, Charles Jackson, where is the safety going to align? If you're the left safety, what are you looking for? I'm going to look for number two. Number two to your side. Yep. I put you right there. Okay. What about the right safety? There is no number two to his side. So where would you align? Say again? Like a ghost tight end. There you go. There is no tight end because we're not going to line you over there, correct? Okay, so that puts you right where you are. So as a, as a linebacker, if I, once a solid call is made or a flex call or a strong call, Courtney Love, um, if I'm a real linebacker, once I get that call and I know which side I'm going to line on, what do I have to identify right there? Huh? What are you going to align on? Who are you going to align on? Number two to your side. So, the, you two are basically aligned on this, basically off the same guy, right? What about the buck linebacker? There is no number two on his side. Right? So, where's your number two? Okay. So, once again, that's your base alignment. Okay, so you'd be lined up right here in the bubble. You're always going to be a bu uh, lined on the bubble side. So there's your number two. Where would you align there? Uh, I was Doesn't matter, does it? Does that matter who those guys are? Is a base roll. Where would you line? Number two. Where's two? Huh? Maybe. Maybe not. Your base roll is to line up on that guy. Then your technique will tell you where to line up, whether I line up head up or off of him, right? Doesn't make a shit who that guy is, who those guys are. If you get a call, your initial roll is to go cover down, right? Same with the will linebacker, right? So if the buck's there... And this guy's out here. Where's the will going to line? Where's the safety going to line? To number two. Then we can make our adjustments from there. Who's the mic going to line on, David Santos? Number three. Where's three there? Okay. What if they line up like that? Once again, I'm just talking generalities. Okay, talk to me. Who's that guy? Thomas Brown. No, what number? Four. Huh? Um, four. Four strong. So we count from outside in. There's one. There's two. There's three. He makes four. What about that guy? He's one. So if I'm this guy, who's your number two? But who's your, who's the closest guy to you? No, that guy means nothing to you, first of all. Okay? So who's your number two? That guy is four strong, and he's two weak. So that's the guy you're aligning off of. Okay? And he might, he's my initial guy that I'm, that I, that's my biggest concern, but that could really, that could change in a hurry, couldn't it? How? How can that change for you? If he comes that way, what is he? He becomes your number two. What if he goes there and he comes here? Who's now your number two? Right. Okay. But if we say a line on that guy, a line on that offset, on that gun, that's my number two. That's my initially where my eyes are, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what if they go, what if they line up like, uh, like that? And it's a, it's a call, it's a solid, 
it's uh, it's Frisco, and it's a solid right call. Where's the buck going to align? Two which way? Where's the solid call? Solid right? So where's the buck going to align? Here? Where's the mic going to align? Where's the will going to align? Huh? Where is that? That guy right there, right? Any issues with that? Now let's go with dead side. Once again, I'm not calling. I'm not calling a defense. I'm just saying it's flex. It's flex right. Flex right. Where's the buck go? Where's your call? What's the mic say? Where would you make the call? Flex call. You make that call to the backside tight end. Look where the wide receivers are. So if you were to make a solid call, which way would you make that solid call? 